Okay, the next skill that we want to learn in fractions is finding the least common multiple, and then I'll tell you what we need to do with it. Um, least common multiple, it's the same as the GCF, the greatest common factor. We need two fractions to be looking at. So I'm just going to choose some simple ones, one-half and one-third. Okay. When we want to compare these, we don't want to compare halves and thirds. That's like comparing apples to oranges. You can't really. We want to compare the exact same thing. So, when we're looking at that, hey, one half and one third, sure, we can see that one, but it gets more difficult as we do it. What if this circle was drawn bigger? Hey, one third, I could fit that half in that one third, and one third would be bigger, technically. Um, but the least common multiple will help us find the exact same. They're going to be the same size, and we'll be able to tell just by looking at it which one is bigger. So the first thing we do, we're looking at the denominators, and we need to list the multiples. My general rule of thumb, list about six multiples, and you'll be fine. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, I'll just stop there. Then I list some multiples of three. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Okay, I can stop after six. If I keep going, I could spend forever on one problem. So I like to try to stop at six. If I need some more, I could add on. But the next thing. So step one is listing the multiples. Next, find what's common between the lists. Okay, I see that six is common between the lists. And I see that twelve is common between the lists. Once again, it's looking an awful lot like the greatest common factor. But this time we're looking for the least or the smallest, and that is 6. So, once I've found that, that becomes my new denominator. Because we're going to compare. If we can compare sixths and sixths, oh, there's five of those, five of those sixths, and four of those sixths, we automatically know which one's bigger. So, this becomes our new denominator of both of them. Okay. Now it's just finding equivalent fractions. A lot of skills molded into one in this. So our equivalent fractions. We do 3 times something, which is 2, equals 6. If I times the bottom by 2, I have to times the top by 2, because that's how it's an equivalent fraction. Because 2 halves equals 1 whole. Any number times 1 equals itself. We're not changing how much this is. We're just going to change how we look at it so that we can compare it. 1 times 2 is 2. Now, I come up here 2 times something. 2 times 3 equals 6. I times the bottom by 3, so I times the top by 3. 1 times 3 is 3. So, now, instead of looking like this, 1 half versus 1 third, now I'm looking at sixths and sixths. Okay. I'm just looking at these fractions in a different way. And now I'm looking, oh, 1, 2, 3 sixths is definitely bigger than 2 sixths. So that's what finding the least common multiple does for us. It helps us in comparing fractions. So first off, you list the multiples, you find what's common between them, and then you find the smallest same number there and make that your new denominator. That is the least common multiple.